welcome back class so in the last chapters we have learned about the working of dc machine transformers different configuration of transformers how we can analyze the transformers and now uh, we are moving towards the ac machines okay alternating current machines okay so that is our main topic from now onwards so basically in this machine uh, in this chapter we are going to learn about the ac machines fundamental principles concepts okay that is the basically the uh, most important chapter uh, because this is the base for the next chapters okay in the next chapter we are going to learn uh, in more details about the different kind of ac machines for example synchronous or asynchronous induction motors okay synchronous generators okay so the working of uh, all those machine is basically based on the principles which we are going to discuss in this chapter so basically if you just uh, think about a basic machine okay so basic machine consists of two main components okay so the first one is the stationary part which we actually called as stator okay so like inside of the machine if we just like inside of the machine so this is a stator so basically stator uh, is a uh, uh, look like this one and here we have the coils okay which are actually round around the stator okay which is actually called as the stator coils then we have a moving part okay which is called rotor okay so rotor is basically the part which is actually rotating inside the machine okay so this is uh, and if we draw this in a 2d okay so it will look like this one that uh, so this is a circle okay this is the outer part of this machine and inside we have this stator okay which looks look like this one like this so this is our stator and uh, here inside we have this rotor so the rotor uh, we usually draw like this one okay so this is our rotor which is actually rotating so these are the basic components of a basic machine okay. so whether we call this uh, like uh, a generator or uh, the motor okay so the both machines basically have these two basic components stator and uh, rotor okay and if you go into more details okay for example these different components okay so in the more details like here we have the stator we have a rotor okay so we have a bearings and the, the cover okay the motor frame or cover and the end part and the different things okay but the main focus of this chapter the learning well, we will be focusing on the uh, working of the stator working of the uh, rotor how they are actually uh, working and uh, what are their operating mechanisms so as i said earlier okay inside a machine we have a stator which is actually our stationary part and we have a rotor which is we usually plot like this one okay so uh, on the rotor okay inside of this we actually have windings and on those windings we usually supply okay with a dc okay so this is called rotor windings okay this is called a uh, rotor winding and uh, then uh, we have a stator okay so uh, and the stator we also have winding which is uh, actually called as the stator winding okay and uh, the rotor winding is also called as a field winding okay so when we actually supply the dc here the current will flow and we know that when the current flows through a coil okay then the field will be produced okay the force will be produced Okay. The first thing is when the current flow, magnetic field will be produced, and also the force will be induced on that wire. Okay. So this is also called as field winding. And the stator, the other name of the stator is also uh, is armature. Okay. Stator is also sometimes referred as the armature. Okay. So if the uh, we also have coils here. Okay. So when the uh, rotor is rotating. Okay, rotor has coils the current is flowing okay that current will induce magnetic field and when we have a rotating magnetic field 
okay so basically we have changing flux right so when we have changing flux so then the voltage will be induced on the stator okay so when the voltage will be induced on the stator coil so the current will flows so that current will actually called as the armature current the stator current okay these are the names of uh, uh, that current okay and this winding is basically called as the armature winding stator windings okay so these are the common names for these windings and uh, if we classify the general machines so we can make them into two major categories synchronous machine and the asynchronous machine so basically in the synchronous machine the electrical frequency of the generator okay or signal is basically synchronized locked with the mechanical rotation of the generator okay so basically inside of the machine we have a rotor which is rotating so this rotating rotor okay will uh, actually uh, induce the changing flux and that flux will induce the voltage here okay so the induced voltage it will have the frequency of the induced voltage okay electrical frequency it will be the same as the frequency of the rotating magnetic uh, rotating rotor okay mechanical rotation frequency will be equal to basically electrical frequency so this is called synchronized working okay and such machines are basically called as synchronous machines so in practically uh, this principle is basically used in the generators so 90% of the generators are basically synchronous generators then we have uh, the induction machines in the induction machine basically the field current is supplied by the magnetic induction transformer action okay so in synchronous machine you are supplying the field current by a separate dc power source okay so this is the rotor you are supplying a dc power source here okay in the induction you are not using a separate dc uh, input source here okay you uh, that will be happening basically through the induction process we will see this later on okay in more details so basically this principle is mostly used in the motors so 90% of the motors are basically induction motors so this is just the basic introduction to the working of the uh, ac machines now uh, let's have a look at the basic operation okay that uh, if we have a simple loop and it is placed in a uniform magnetic field so how that uh, loop will operate okay so in the first chapter if you guys remember we have seen this operation that if you have a simple loop okay like this simple loop okay and uh, if uh, we uh, and this loop is present in a magnetic field okay so this is a magnet okay so this magnet is producing the magnetic field which are actually denoted by these blue lines okay this is the magnetic field so this loop is present in a magnetic field okay and if you are rotating this loop okay through some external okay force for example uh, this is a prime mover okay and you are rotating this like this so when this loop is rotating okay so basically it will experience the change of flux okay it will experience the change of flux so when uh, we are having the change of flux so the changing flux it will actually induce the voltage at the end of this loop right because of the changing flux okay so basically the induced voltage in a simple loop which is present in a uniform magnetic field okay it will be basically a sinusoidal okay like this okay as the loop is rotating okay so the voltage will be like going to the negative maximum positive maximum negative maximum positive maximum okay like it is increasing reaching positive maximum then decreasing reaching negative maximum then increasing positive maximum then decreasing negative maximum okay so basically the induced voltage in a simple loop which is present in a uniform magnetic field have a sinusoidal output We will see uh, in the live lecture. We will actually derive the formulas for this. Okay, this induced voltage. Okay, so basically we will get a sinusoidal output, so which is basically evident from this picture also. Okay, 
we will see the details that uh, how about like if we analyze this simple uh, loop in a uniform magnetic field okay then how the output will actually we will get a sinusoidal output okay so next is the basically the derivations so before going to the ending so this is the uh, just a review that uh, we know that uh, when a wire is moving with a velocity v okay for example this wire this slope is moving with a velocity v okay and it is present in a magnetic field v so we know that the voltage will be induced with which is basically v cross p times l right so this is the formula from the chapter one okay that the induced voltage is basically the product of the velocity and the uh, uniform magnetic field the magnetic field times the length okay so by using this formula we will drive the uh, uh, the final the accumulative output okay which will be basically a sinusoidal output so we will see that in the uh, in live session okay and that's it uh, for this part of the lecture thank you very much for your time